I'm Sherry Boschert reporting at the annual meeting of the American College of Cardiology, where a meta-analysis by Dr. Kimberly Brayton of Stanford University suggests that same-day discharge after elective PCI is just as safe as overnight observation. It turns out that in the U.S. at this point, only 1.2% of patients are discharged the same day after elective PCI, in spite of the fact that there is a very low rate of major adverse events and uncertain benefit of keeping the patient in the, ho in the hospital overnight, but certain costs. Why do you think that is? I think there's a, a number of, of concerns that, that people have. Part of it is that, there, that it's been traditional to watch people overnight, and I think that there's concern about uh, the, the risk of litigation in the United States that makes it a little bit more of a hostile climate for pr introducing new practices. So how did you do your meta-analysis? So we went through and did an uh, exhaustive search of uh, PubMed and the Scopus databases and found 760 studies initially, but ultimately we were able to winnow it down to 37 studies, 30, random, 30 observational studies, and seven randomized trials. What did you find? We found that overall, um, as you might expect, there was a very low pooled event rate in the, in the observational data, suggesting that elective PCI is in fact very safe. And we found that in overall in the randomized studies, we did not find a significant difference in the rate of adverse events between patients who were sent home the same day and those that were observed overnight. How many patients were in these studies, do you remember, in the two groups? Yeah, so in the seven randomized trials, there were 2,738 patients. And in the 30 observational studies, the total number was 10,065 patients. So what do you conclude from this? I mean, in the end, we need more randomized studies that are large to, to definitively assess the safety of same-day discharge, um, but the data from the pooled analysis that we performed does support its uh, safety and its consideration in low-risk patients. Have the findings changed practice at your institution? We are working on instituting a protocol for same-day discharge. We think that the protocol that we, put, that we designed could be implemented at centers interested in starting a same-day discharge program. We start with some pre-procedural considerations, such as patient demographics um, or comorbidities, such as heart failure or chronic kidney disease, that could be used to exclude patients up front. Um, after that, we suggest some uh, peri-procedural considerations, such as whether the patient is undergoing a high-risk procedure, um, as well as excluding any patients to, that have any complications of the procedure itself. And provided that none of these are present, we suggest watching the patient for six hours, and provided that there are no adverse events during that six hours, then sending the patient home with follow-up at 24 hours, either via a phone call or a follow-up visit. Reporting for IMNG Medical News, I'm Sherry Bosher.